Saka, Starboy. That title now has to go. That is that Starboy thing pisses me off. I'm not gonna lie to you. I hate hearing that 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 title. I was Starboy. I went from strict to strict though. Strict. Understand? Only person I owe is myself. Strict. Oh. Yes, yes, people. Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, whatever it is that these other YouTubers tell you to do. But do it for me. Match day. Newcastle one, Arsenal nil. That's right. Newcastle one, Arsenal nil. <sighs> it's getting hard. It's getting hard to defend these performances, man. Getting hard to defend the manager. It's getting hard to defend the players. It's getting hard to defend the club. Um, the Arteta outers of starting to increase the volume, and the volume's getting loud. You can hear it. I can hear it. Um, some are calling for Arteta's head. Let me not be reactionary, you know. Like one thing I've learned, you know, all this doing this all YouTube content stuff is all new to me. But I think one thing I've definitely learned is about react, being reactionary, and I'm definitely a very reactionary person. Um, and here we are, you know. I'm not gonna give the clickbaits sort of reaction or tear out and all of that. I'm not gonna give that because I don't feel it's time yet. I don't. I haven't seen it get to the level where I'm trying to pull the emergency button or pull the trigger, the proverbial trigger. So I haven't, I haven't seen that yet. But I must say this: we are close to it. We are close to it. One point in three games when you played Bournemouth away. Newcastle and Liverpool and Liverpool at home and it, you played Bournemouth and not even get a point. Um, today, there's no excuses. No sending offs today. No faults of the refs. Today was the Arsenal we needed to see without any escape route. And by that, I mean no dubious VAR calls, no dubious red cards, no dubious offside or was the ball in or was none of that. We needed to see see 11 versus 11 through 90 minutes, no interruptions. And we saw it today and we were poor. And I don't, I, I can't tell you why we've been poor. I can't put my finger on it. Whether or not it's fatigue for the way we played last season, you know, all that energy we put in. I, I couldn't tell you. It's not my job to tell you that, you know. And essentially, this will lie at the feet of Arteta. So when people are calling for Arteta out, I hear it. Whether or not that's what I would do, that's you know that's a different conversation. But I do hear it, and at some point he's got to start taking responsibility. You know, Arteta got to where he got us to because he was brave. He was you know trying new things, and it's almost like all those things have gone out the window. You know, today he kept it so safe. Fans have called for Iwaneri, which would have been a, 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 a good option to take, you know, a risk to take. But this is your boy. This is your project. You know, some fans will say, you, and not even some fans, even I would say, you haven't really brought in a lot of youth in your tenure. You know, in the time that Emery was in charge for a year and a half or whatever he was in, he brought through Saka, he brought through Smithrow. You know, he brought through, you know, a lot of, Academy plays, you know, but we've only seen one from you in four in four or five seasons, you know, and today would have been a good time to try him out. You know, you've got your main creative chief out with injury. What when other what when other time what, what other opportunities are you gonna get to, to try in one area? You know, he's highly, highly um rated by the club. You lot have rated him. You've fast tracked him. You brought him in. At, how old was he when he first played against that game against Brentford? Was he like fifteen or sixteen, whatever he was? You brought him through. You know, but at some point you gotta start taking the risk and trust him. You see in Barcelona, you know, with 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 their with their trust with with, with um, Yamal. You know, at some point you gotta start you gotta start taking the risk. Or even if even if it flops. You know you tried it, but just keeping it safe. That Marino in the middle with Trossard wasn't working. Trossard definitely wasn't working. You know, should have hooked him off. In-game, first half. But nah, you protected him. You wanted to protect him. Because there's some players who I suppose Arteta will protect and some he won't. Like you saw him do against Bournemouth. He brought on Kivio. As soon as Kivio's error led to the goal, he took him off. 
But why can you do that to some players and don't do it to others? Right, some might have credit in the bank. I understand. Trussard's got credit in the bank. I, I get it. But at some point, you've got to be ruthless enough. Like we see Guardiola do. We've seen Fergie do. We've seen all these great managers over the years. Just pull the trigger. That's that's the, probably the difference. They know when to do it. And today you didn't do it. You protected him to the 70th minute. I don't understand it. You we, 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 <clears throat> Listen. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say, man. Honestly, don't know what to say. But I hear it. I hear it. If Arteta, if the club was to pull the trigger on Arteta today, I'm not gonna have my banner running down the street to say why did you do that. You know. But you know, what, best credit I can give to Arteta is that even without any success, he's managed to put us in a conversation. Start of the season, ask most pundits. They've got us down to win the league. And right now, we're so far from it, which might even be a good thing because that pressure, it seems like we're not handling that pressure. So it might be just be good to get the, pressures off, get the pressure off us and let Liverpool lead and let City do what they're doing and any other club that wants to push, let them lead. You know, let, let's, let, let's just sit back and, and, and be the underdogs again because that seemed to suit us, suit us fine, suit our football fine, you know? But at this time when, you know, the boys are not performing. The light's on them every game and they, they, they can't perform. There's no excuses today. There's no red cards, no dubious goals, no dubious penalties. We played a game. It was a nothing game. I couldn't imagine, I couldn't even remember a, 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 a save that Nick Pope had to make. I couldn't even also remember a save that Ray had to make. It was a nothing game. And we lost it. How'd you lose, how'd you lose nothing? Explain that to me. How'd you lose nothing? That's some, that's some, that's magic right there. Honestly, I, on, on, honestly, I don't, honestly, I don't, I, I, I don't quite know how to even analyse this game, honestly. But one thing I do know, Trushar should have been hooked off and Arteta didn't do it. He waited to what? 20, last 20 minutes of the game. That guy shouldn't even have seen the second half. He was even, every, every mistake he made, he looked at the bench. He, look, he he knows himself he shouldn't have been he, he should have been hooked off quicker than that. You know, he should have had players warming up to signify, look, you're not doing well. Did he not tell him, I'm going to give you 10 minutes, I'm going to give you five minutes? Did he not tell him that? I don't understand. I don't, I, honestly, I don't understand. But like I said, I hear it. I hear it. I'll take it out. I hear it. It's not what I would do, but I hear it. You know, like I was saying, like, he's managed to, put the club into a place that the club hadn't been in in years he's got us competing he's got he's got people talking about us in in a positive light he's got the pundits which are usually the ones who criticize Arsenal the most you know he's got them rethinking again that's the best thing I can give him because he's not suffering from success what do you know what I'm saying it's mad because he's not suff like what's what success have you are you suffering from well, he's suffering from it, if it makes sense. I don't, whether it's the media, I don't, I, I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. He's been a nearly man for the last two seasons. You know, he, he's got us going in the right tra tra trajectory. He's built a bridge. But also, bro, the, build, the bridge you've built is a bridge you're destroying. You're destroying it. I don't want to be reactionary. I, I really don't. But if you look at today's game, or even look at like, the the Liverpool game, we score first and then start sitting back. What's happened to score first, try get another, and then maybe have the you know tries to sit back and catch on the count? I don't understand. You know he's gone against the principles that I've got him this far. He really has. But equally, the players have to take responsibility today as well. It's not just the, on the manager. The players, Saka, Starboy. That title now has to go. That is that Starboy thing pisses me off. I'm not gonna lie to you. I hate hearing that 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 title. I was Starboy. He's not a boy anymore. Today he was captain. Today he didn't rally his troops. You know, because once you once you once you have that title of Starboy, his expectations are limited. His expectations are limited. He was captain today. Now once did I see him jeering on his boys, getting up, up on man's backside? No, did he? You know, trying to get his team right, trying to get the mentality right. The mentality is falling, man. And it always starts with the captain on the pitch. You're the leader on the pitch. He wasn't a leader today. 
I'm mean, even that even that even that that armband that armband gets passed around like like it's a fucking blunt, bro. Like 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 like, like it's like it's like it's Katie Price, bro. Like who like that armband don't mean nothing, bro. One minute fucking Zinchenko's got it, next minute Gabriel's got it, next minute Jesus has got it, next minute Saka's got it. Like like the armband's gotta start meaning something. It means when you wear it, there's an expectation on your head to perform as a captain, as a leader, as a general. You know, it's, 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 like, like, I don't understand it, bro. The armband, bro. Look, look, think, think of um Harry Kane. He's he's Tottenham's um one. He's one of their own. But once he had that, once he got that armband, you could see he had leadership qualities. I don't see that old Saka. I think Saka's a great player. I think Saka's an exceptional player. I think he's one of our best players. Probably one of the best players in the Prem. But a leader, he's not that. A leader, he's not that. And you saw that today. You saw that today. Even when they came out at half, they came out half time earlier than the Newcastle did. I, it wasn't him. I, I wasn't seeing him fucking organizing his troops. I wasn't seeing him fucking giving the fucking the speech. He's not. He's not that kind of player. He's not that kind of player, you know. But Saka is Saka. You know, he will produce moments, and he nearly had a moment in that. In that. In that. It was at like the last kick of the game when that, that cross he, he, he put for Declan Rice and you know Declan Rice headed it wide you know but I'm talking about his leadership bro he's not a leader man he's not a leader he re he's really not we've got to get that right we've got to concentrate on who's going to be the captain going forward you know you can't just be giving it round giving it round giving it round I'm tired of seeing that it's not a fucking testimonial bro it's not we were woeful today we were woeful like it wasn't even like Newcastle were even better than us. That's the worst thing. How'd you... Bro, I said this. I remember last time we played Newcastle when um, we was fighting out, we was chasing the top four and um, I think Ben White scored that own goal and and I said something like um, um, would they count... Was it? We're getting counted and we're not even count. We're not even attacking. Like, it was basically that sort of thing. Like, how... how? You know, it's, like I said, it has to lie on the players as well. Arteta will definitely take lion's share of responsibility today because essentially he picks the team and also in-game, he manages the team. And he done none of that today, bro. You give credit where credit is due, but you also got to know when to slap a man, bro. And that's what I'm doing. Like, I'm not by all means an Arteta in. I understand the project. I can see what he's doing. I can see the, the club is going definitely better than it was five, six, seven, even during the last era of Wenger's reign. You know, I can see the club is in way better. Way better. You know, and that's credit to him. But like I said, you built your bridge. You're at the risk of destroying your bridge. And eventually, we've got Inter Milan next. If God forbid we lose that game, then it's going to be Arteta out fully 100% loud the volume is going to increase increase and I don't I, I won't blame people because what, what are we playing what's our I, I, what is our identity bro come like now we are depending on set pieces that was the only way we was going to score today set, some set pieces you know our left side is not balanced we're getting nothing down the left from Martinelli or his or whoever plays there we're getting nothing it's been like that for years we get nothing on out that channel everything is our right and when it gets predictable when people start sussing putting three man on Saka or two man on Saka then essentially we've got nothing in attack we've got nothing up front you know at the start of the season everyone's calling out for a forward you know we, we get rid of three forwards um, Smith Rowe um, Reese Reese Nelson and Nketiah and bring in a defensive I don't bro I, I'll be honest I don't know what Marino is bro I don't know what Marino is. I couldn't tell you what his game is. I have no idea. I have no idea. We've definitely lost that leadership, should I say, dare say, of Granit Xhaka. And it's mad that everyone that knows me knows he wasn't was my favourite player. But we're definitely missing that maturity and that leadership of, 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 of Xhaka. You know, which is, which is crazy. Which is crazy. You know? And, and, and here, here we are again. Here we are again. But I do hear the Arteta out. You know, I do hear it. Some people are going to say I'm a... F I'm, listen, let me tell you something, yeah? You can call me a flip-flop all you want. All you want. 
In fact, I embrace I embrace flip flop. I don't think it's a I don't think it's an insult. How can you live your life on on one thought of one one train of mind? I don't live my life that way. I don't live my life. If the facts change, I change. That's how I am. I'm not trying to be. There's, there's no ego with me. You might get these other YouTubers who are ah. Oh, you know, they say one thing and they must die on that hill. That's not me. I'm, I'm able to roll down the hill or, or, or walk up it or run up it. I don't care. Call me a flip-flop. But eventually, if this, this um, our condition continues, this team condition continues, eventually, it's going to be our tear out. It's eventually, eventually. And people are going to turn around. But Stricto, you support, so what? Yeah, I was. I what? You can what? You can go on my videos. You can see it loud. So what? <laughs> Is that insult? So what? When the facts when the facts change, I change. That's it. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm a very fact based person. I don't use emotions. There's no feelings with me. That that fan. I, I used to be that fan where it was all feelings, no logic. But the older you get, the older you, the, the more you understand the game, the more you start using logic. More logic, less emotions. And sentiments, I don't have sentiments. I tell you that now. My sentiment died 2000 and, uh, 2007, 2008, my sentiment died. If someone's not pulling their weight, no matter who they are, fans favorite or not, get rid. Get rid. It's a shrewd, it's a, ga it's a game of glory. Chelsea, Chelsea are one team that have no sentiment to nobody. Manager, players, they don't care. So yeah, that's how I live in my life. Call it flip-flop, I don't care. But for now, I wouldn't personally pull the trigger yet. I don't think we've got to that level yet. But I think we could benefit from the limelight not being on us. But also the limelight will be on us because it's Arsenal. We're a big club. Limelight is always on us. But when you're talking about winning the league, maybe that light needs to dim so that we can, we can, we can go back to being underdogs again. You know? But... Yeah, let me know what you guys think, man.